improving economy is opening doors for multifamily development projects. But even with the increased rental demand, there are still some concerns. Today, I'm at a project in Rialto, California, where a savvy developer used value engineering along with glue lamb and wood structural panel shear walls to help her meet her bottom line. I'm Karen Beebe, engineered wood specialist for APA, the Engineered Wood Association. Today, I'm at the Santa Barbara apartment complex in Rialto, California with Barbara Monroy, president of BM Investment Company. So this project consists of seven three-story multifamily buildings. Each building is comprised of about 20,000 square feet. It uh, includes 15 one-car garages. When we started analyzing all the bids that we had for framing, the numbers were coming in pretty high. And in talking to George Mears at Precision Framing, he recommended I call Amir Dahimi at Core Structure and see if there was something he could do to help us redesign some of this to bring down the cost. And uh, when I called Amir, he said, send me the plans, I'll take a look at them. And I did that, he called me back right away and said, yes, I can, I can save you some money here. The original plans had several challenges. The foundation design had expensive grade beams, few of the floor plans stacked, which required complicated framing plans. And the garages originally had steel prefabricated shear walls, plus Rialto's in a high seismic area. Seismic loads are significant. Amir, where did you begin your value engineering process? There were three major items that, that we looked at, as you mentioned. Um, um, prefabricated steel shear walls, over-designed grade beams to support these, these shear walls, and uh, complicated framing with no glue lamp beams utilizing the project. Each garage had originally four prefabricated steel shear walls. I know these prefabricated walls are pretty expensive. How did you address this? That's true, they're very expensive. Um, we tried to reanalyze the garage portals um, as a portal frame and um, eliminate um, the steel uh, shear walls and switch them with double-sided um, structural wood panels and conventional hold downs. And we used a method um, called uh, force transfer run opening, also known, known as FTAO, uh, to achieve that goal. Excellent. So that made the foundation a more effective design. And you also had the advantage of going simply from steel to wood. Yes. But with the wood design, was there some cost savings as well in the analysis method you used? Yes, absolutely. But by utilizing that FTAO, um, we use conventional hold downs, which are typically a lot smaller than the ones that come standard with prefabricated uh, panels. And uh, that translates into smaller grade beams and uh, less rebar in those gray beams. And also the installation time um, and the labor cost is a lot less um, in using structural wood panels versus steel shear walls. Aside from the garage, was FTAO utilized elsewhere? Yes, it was utilized almost all around the building, all the way to the third floor, um, at every window opening that we had. Um, by doing that, the building had to be wrapped with plywood sheeting anyways for fire and energy requirements. And we utilized all those as the structural panels and um, um, eliminated um, uh, a lot of hold downs on the upper levels and therefore their supporting elements in the, in the framing. What feedback did you get from the framers using FTAO? Um, they appreciate it because obviously the less hard, hardware that has to be used um, um, in, in the project, it's less material cost for them and less installation cost and labor. So you mentioned the shear walls and then you also mentioned glue lambs. There's a lot of glue lambs on this project, primarily in the floors ranging from three and a half to seven inches wide? That's correct. Originally, uh, there were other engineer wood products that were utilized in this project that they're typically more expensive than glue lamp beams. Um, we tried to switch those with glue lamp beams because nowadays glue lamp beams are available in um, framing width and um, eye joist depth, and therefore there is no uh, patching or padding or shimming required, and um, the um, cost of material is less, and obviously the cost of labor is going to be less because um, no special hardware is going to be required and. Simply put, it's very easy to shoot nails into, into a glue lamp beams. 
Amir, can you speak to the specifics of the cost savings you found in your value engineering? Um, absolutely. Well, in glue lamp beam alone, um, in material cost, um, through past experiences in multifamily projects, we, we've come to realize that um, they're typically 20 to 30 percent um, um, more economical compared to other uh, wood products. And then adding up the cost of the steel um, um, shear walls, which we used to have about 50 of them in each building, and now we're down to five. Um, um, and also adding up the cost of those grade beams, I think the developer, Barbara Monroy, she ended up getting her seventh building for free. So we were able to save money by reducing the amount of rebar, concrete, and switching from steel shear walls to wood shear walls. And we went from beams to glue lines, which provided a substantial savings. Having to redesign this project was a tough pill to swallow when you've already paid for it once. But in analyzing and calculating all the numbers, it was well worth it.